Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Jen Sorensen and um, hold on one second. I might have a problem with uh, Mickey ears. Yeah, not a problem. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a fun way to hang them. And these are a a little bit wacky, but basically what I've done is I've created this little hanging tool here and it's just made of ribbon and some snaps and I can hang my ears on them. It's a little crazy, but what I love about this is that I can put them, so I have it on a hanger here just for the sake of it right now. But you can see here how when I put this on a wall, they're all just gonna hang there. But what I enjoy is I use a D-ring here, which, here's a D-ring. This is an old packaging. I think this is a new packaging here. One and a half inch D-ring. So you need one for one of these basically. And I can put this on a hanger so I can bring this with me when I travel to Disney. And I can just hang this up like this. Let me talk to you a little bit about what you need, what supplies you're going to need. I found this great set of ribbon on Amazon and I've had this for a little while, but you basically need any sort of ribbon. I have, um, and it comes in two sizes in this one. I like this because I think it looks like Spaceship Earth. So, and this has a darker and a lighter this is, I believe, one and a half inches, and these are one inches. So it has two different sizes. And the one and a half inch is gonna fit perfectly with the D-ring. So you need ribbon, you need a D-ring. And then what I use for this are little snips. And I'll include a link to an Amazon, um, maybe a couple options because I don't really love this one. I find this a little tricky to use. I bought this a while ago when I had intentions of making baby bibs for some friends. That didn't go so well. So we need that. Scissors to cut the ribbon. And we need some clear nail polish because we want to seal the ends of the ribbon. So I'm going to bring you down onto the table here so you can see what I do. And I'll show you how I make this. It's really pretty easy. I think. Almost anyone can do it, I, I think. Well, come on, I'll show you how I make these. All right, we're not gonna use this just yet. And what I like to do is keep that lock because I do not need a cat coming up and spilling this all over the place. What we wanna do first is with this package, we're gonna open this up, excuse the crinkling noise, and there we go. I love this. I'll link these as well. I think I got, again, I'm pretty sure I got this on Amazon. So these are pretty long. And what I did was I have another one here where I cut the one and a half inch ones in half. And let me measure this for you. So we've got, see that's 30, 40, 50, about 55 inches. Um, so it's about 110 inches long. I cut them in half. Easy. So out of this, basically what I would do is one package, so I got a few of these. One package of these can make you four of them. So I would do one package of this and two sets of two D-rings and you can make this. Super easy. So I cut it in half. And then what I did was I took my D-ring here, folded it over, and I just sewed that down. You can see not perfect. There we go. I just sewed that down. I kind of reinforced the ends here. This is the only time you're going to need your sewing machine. And then at the end, let's see, can you see it easily? Doesn't want to focus. Anyway, um, I folded it over twice and just kind of sewed it down. Now, this piece down here at the bottom is optional. You could also seal it with a little bit of clear nail polish. This is just stuff I've had around forever. 
What I am gonna do with the bottom here is I am going to take some clear nail polish and just kind of go over the end of this so it doesn't fray anymore. Make that pretty easy. I'm trying to keep this pretty simple for you guys. Nothing too crazy and complicated. That's all we need to do. Super simple. We will let that dry for a minute. I'll kind of put that off to the side. Now we need our smaller one inch pieces here. So this is one inch and I tried um, three eighths or about half an inch and it was just too small. I really like the one inch for this. I did a lot, of, I did some testing for you guys to see. So now we are gonna cut these, I found seven inches to be kind of an ideal length. You may wanna adjust if you have a lot of ears with big poofy bows. And let me show you what I mean by that. So you're going to snap this around. This is seven inches still, you're at the middle. And I've got room here. You see, I can put some fingers through, but when you have really poofy bows, these are ones I got in Disneyland Paris um, a couple years ago. Uh, but you want to have enough space here. And seven inches I found is good for a lot of these poofy bows and then some of the non ones. It just, you know, you've got plenty of space. So seven inches, give or take, you know, you may want to practice and try a few different sizes. What I've done is I cut a whole bunch from one of these to seven inches. And then on the ends, I also coated them in clear nail polish. So I've done that and this is just to prevent the fraying. I'll show you what I did to do that is I would coat them. So I took this, left this up and I would coat them with nail polish and just kind of let them dry. As this hung up, I would just kind of drape them over this. A little, little tip. So I just let them dry like that, the nail polish, and it was great. Super easy. So I was doing like four at a time, doing something else, coming back to it. So that's the only prep work you need to do. So that's where the scissors come in handy, where you basically just need to cut these down to size. Not much else to do there. All right, now comes the tricky part, and we are going to add our snaps to this. So. I'm going to take, and I like to do the light to the light. There's the darker, you can see the difference in color here. You can mix and match if you wanted to. Now I'm gonna take my seven inch piece, put the right sides together like you would when sewing or take the colored pieces and put them down because we're gonna flip this up after and that's going to make sure that you're able to see it. If you were to put the pretty colorful part up, when you actually snap it, you're gonna just get white. So we're gonna take these right sides down together and we are going to take, and I don't know what these are called. See, this is, I keep it real with you guys. I'm not a professional. We're gonna take a little nubbin part with the little piece that kind of sticks up here. Can you see that little piece that sticks up? So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put that right here in the center and at the top. And then we're gonna take the piece that kind of goes and connects that, that's not it. We want the sharp, sharp bobbly thingy here. So it's got these sharp little prongs. And I just go with a simple one because I don't care about what color in this case is on the back side. So I'm gonna take that. And actually what I like to do is kind of place it, shove it through so I can see those prongs and know that it's positioned properly. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, I can kind of see the spiky prongy pieces coming through. Yeah, you can see those little silver bits popping through, there's five of them. So I do that, poke it through, make sure that's in a good place. Now I'm gonna take this little mechanism here, keep that little prongy piece and lay it in the center. I'm being very technical here. I wish this was magnetic. It would make things so much easier. Put this in and push. And I'm just gonna kind of give it some good force. I might, you know, flip it, reverse it, put your thing down, do that. Okay, so now that's in. That's pretty good. That's not going anywhere. I'm giving that a tug. 
for the next one, we're going to put our next piece up here so that it comes up and creates this loop that the ear is going to hang through. So here's what I'm going to do. Now I want a little pretty color up top here. So I'm going to take a pink. This one is a little pink topper, but you can do whatever you want here. Push this through and I want to try and center it again and bring this. I want to give myself a little bit of a gap here at the top. Push that through so you can see those little prongy bits. Take that and I like to keep it upside down just so that I can then take my little tool that comes with this little plier things, place it on the center here and I'm holding both fingers on either side so that it kind of stabilizes it. I'm going to take my piece, my flat piece that goes here that's going to connect to the poker router thingy. Very technical terms here. And I totally just lost that. Okay. See, this is the trickiest part and why I wish was, these were magnetic in a way to make a state. Now push it down. And I kind of like to go around the edges here push it down, really make sure that I've got it. Okay. And I could be doing this all wrong, but I watched multiple tutorials and I found the instructions on this to be terrible. So that's why I'm showing you what I've done. Now that just snaps right in. And I have this loop here that I can put my ears in. So let me unsnap that and I will show you, since I did pink, I'll grab my Thunder Mountain ears here and that snaps right in. It would help if I actually put it in the right area. There we go, snaps right in. And I will lift this up to show you. Yeah, and it just hangs there. So what I found is I like to use the piece that I just put down as a guide for where my next one goes. So I will take my little light piece down and I'm just going to line it up about a quarter inch or so from where I, where this first little hooky thing goes. You can probably get away with going closer if you want the backs to overlap. I will do that. I'm going to get my spiky prongy piece here that you can see go through the back. Let's push this through and that's, it helps me make sure that it's centered. Get that spiky prongy piece through and you're going through two layers of ribbon here. So it's a little bit tricky. You can use whatever ribbon you want. Um, I do recommend the one inch for this. So I would make sure everything is at least one inch. Got my spiky piece through. I've got my little like, I really should figure out what these things are called and maybe should have done that beforehand, but I kind of like the names I've made up for them. I keep it real here, guys. You know that. All right, we'll put that in. Shove it down. And sometimes I'll kind of go around the edge with the rubber bit to make sure I got it all. And that is good. And I'm just going to keep repeating this process all the way down. I found that with this ribbon, I can get about seven on here. So maybe next time I did pink the first one, I'll do a... Oh, I don't know, baby blue. Do this one more time. Put that through the middle of the ribbon. And put that down. Get our connector piece. And definitely check the instructions for your particular set if you have these snaps. You could do buttons if you wanted to um, somehow possibly, but you would need to have like a button loop and, you know, be able to create a button hole, which I still don't do. So now you have two loops here. I can put my Thunder Mountain ears right here. And now I can grab, oh, let's get, let's make this a uh, Mickey and Minnie, the Minnie's main attraction set. We'll do that. I've got my carousel since I did the blue and we will snap that. So let me bring you up. Hi. Uh, let me bring you up and show you kind of how 
this look. So the way I've done this with the spacing about seven inches is you're gonna see the full set of ears. Now you can bring them closer so that the bottom of the ears kind of overlap. That's personal preference, whatever you want. I find it easier to just measure, um, you know, the full length, whatever you want to do. Play around with it. Try a few different things. You can get more this way, but hey, that's just kind of what I like to do. And the D-ring allows you, you can use a nail or you can do um, a little hook or something like that. A hook might be easier to then hang these on your wall and display them somehow. But then again, what I, what I love about this is I can take this right off my wall and I can bring this with me to Disney and just hang this on a hanger to then go ahead and store it easily in the hotel room, which I think is fantastic. So let me know if you guys give this a try, if you have more tips for how to use this confangled thingamabob, let me know. Um, but until next time, create something beautiful for yourself or for others. I will see you real soon. Have a fantastic day.